Hi, my name's Stephen, and today we're going to learn about fractions. If I can get my pen to work, that is. Um, oh, here we go. Fractions. F R A C T I O N S. Okay, what are fractions? Well, we come across fractions in our day to day life. Now, I've drawn here four circles, each with a different fraction. And uh, I like to call this circle, let's use our imagination and imagine it's actually a cake. We're looking down at a cake. And um, in the first example, we've gone down the shop, we've bought one whole. So in this case, we haven't actually got the knife out to cut the cake. And then in the second sentence, we think, oh, one cake's quite a lot. So we're going to cut it into two. So we could potentially share it with a friend. And the green part's yours, and the white part's the friend's. So what we call this is a half. What do you notice here? The two, one, two is on the bottom, and the one, the part of your cake, is on the top. Now, this is a common theme because in the next one, we've got one, two, three, four, because we've cut it again. We've cut the half into another half. We've got some neighbors come around who want more cake. So, what's going on the bottom? Well, four, one, two, three, four. And the one, your, your part, is on the top again. And we call this a quarter. Now, looking at the next cake, we've had even more friends from school come round. So we've had to cut it again. And this time, we've cut twice more there. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight parts of the cake. So we've got eight on the bottom there, and we call this an eighth. So in the four examples, we've got one whole, a half, a quarter, and an eighth. Now, imagine, let's imagine one whole cake. We're feeling quite hungry, so we buy another cake. So we've got one. One equals two. Well, that's quite a simple calculation, but uh, let's have a look what's going on here with the cakes. We've actually, in this case, got another cake. We've got one plus one equals two, and that is two cakes. That's quite a simple maths, really. But what happens when you've got to add fractions together? Well, let's take an example. Um, let's get my pen back on. Uh, let's take a simple example of a half cake plus a half cake. Now, that is one half here plus one half here, you can imagine. You can see it's going to equal a whole. Or what's going on in the maths? Well, in fractions, before you can add two fractions together, the bottom part, which we call the denominator, the bottom part, they have to equal. In this case, here, we had one cake plus one cake. So we've got like for like. They're, they're both the equivalent. So it's like here, you have to have a half plus another half. It's difficult to add things together that aren't the same equivalent. So here, we have a half plus a half. The, the bottoms are the same, and that's what we want. And in this case, if the bottoms are the same, we just write the bottom denominator the same. And now, all we have to do is worry about the top. One plus one. 
plus 1. Now, and that's easy, 1 plus 1 is 2. We have 2 over 2. So, as we can see, we have 1, 2 there, and 2 there. So the denominator is 2, and we can see that actually equals 1 cake. Because 2 divided by 2 equals 1. Now, let's take a look at the quarter case. A quarter plus a quarter. Now, in this case, we can see again that the, the, the bottom parts are the same. So that's good news because that makes it fairly straightforward again. We take the 4 on the bottom, 1 plus 1 equals 2 over 4. Ah, so that's like saying. 1 quarter plus 1 quarter equals 2 fourths. But what do you notice about 2 fourths? So that's 1 fourth there and 1 fourth there. What do you notice when you add them together? Oh, it's very similar to a half. It's actually the same. And how do we transfer 2 quarters into a half? Well, what we can do is an operation to the top and bottom. So dividing by 2, because we divided the bottom by 2, we have to do the same to the top. So we get 2 divided by 2 equals 1, 4 divided by 2 equals 2, and we've gone down to a quarter, which is the same as this, which is the same as 1 quarter plus 1 quarter, which is what we had here. So this is the case where the bottoms are the same. Okay, let's have a look where the bottoms aren't the same. Okay, a half plus a quarter. Well, we've got a half here and a quarter here. We don't have like for like. They're not equivalent. Um, so we have to make changes to make the bottoms the same. So if you remember your two times table, you've got two, four, six. Just taking the first three terms of your four times table, if you take your 4 times table, 4, 8, 12, um, what do you notice about the two of them? Which number is the same? Well, it's the 4. 4 is the same in both cases. So what we can do is use a common denominator, which is 4, and use that to help us calculate. So what we do is we make a change to the half, we times it by 2, times it by 2. As I said before, like here, we have to do the same operation, top and bottom. And what we get is we get on the top 2, 2 times, that's 2 times 1 there, and 2 times 2 equals 4, so we get 4 on the bottom. And also we've got 1 fourth here. So that doesn't change because it's the first one in the table, so we don't have to change it. And now the denominator is the same, that's what we were after. And we've got 4 on the bottom there, 2 plus 1 plus 3 fourths. So what's gone on there? Let's have a quick look. What we've actually done by changing 2 times 2 is we've taken this half, which is a half that you see there, we split it into two like that and we've end up with two fourths so one and two so instead of one half here we have two fourths but they're actually the same and we actually had two fourths here in the previous example so now we end up with one plus one plus a quarter here here and as you can see if we add another quarter here we end up with three quarters and that's what we were looking for so we've got the right answer we've changed the denominator here to what we wanted the four and the four four and the two and we've got a good answer so we've got all these answers and we're going to do more fractions in the next time Hope you enjoyed that lesson. So just in quick summary, 
when we add fractions together, it's very important to have the denominators, the part on the bottom, the same. If they're not the same, we have to change them by using a common denominator where the number is exists in both the times tables of both of them. Um, any questions, uh, please email me on the website uh, email address uh, academicsapply.co.uk. Thank you very much.